everyone my name is Priya and in today's video I'm starting off a new sketchbook and we all know the feeling of starting a new sketchbook we have that excitement and that happiness of opening up that new sketchbook and seeing a fresh clean page ready for us to create on but at the same time we have this nervousness and perhaps even a bit of fear that that blank page looks a bit scary and intimidating but I can definitely tell you that just go ahead and start. That's the only thing that you can do. So opening the sketchbook, I was really excited. Uh, this is my watercolor sketchbook that I use a lot for multiple mediums. It is the Hanami watercolor sketchbook. I will list it in the description box below. But it is so nice looking at a sketchbook like this because when you look at your new sketchbook, you have so many ideas and you just think of the creative adventures you're going to go through when you start working in the sketchbook and that's what I think you need to focus on when you start in your sketchbook and not get intimidated by that first blank page. So once the sketchbook was ready for me I started working in my planning sketchbook to create a bit of an idea of what I wanted my intro page to do. In all my sketchbooks I usually start off the first two pages with an introduction page or basically a welcome page to my sketchbook with a bit of illustrations and obviously a writing as well as the date that I started it and then a finished date will come once I'm done but I usually leave place for that and it's usually a, whatever comes to mind that makes me create a particular idea like in this case um, I think my previous sketchbook I really didn't know what to paint or one of them and I never uh, had an idea so I just painted my art supplies I had around me in this case, I had an idea of creating this sort of archway that is basically covered in flowers and plants and it looks out into a landscape. So once I had my idea down, I basically did all of the uh, drawings again and writing onto into my actual sketchbook with a regular graphite pencil. And I just created that as a guide so that when I go over with paint, I'll be able to uh, see wherever um, the different places that I need to uh, work with and I can see what um, where everything is placed. So I created this border around the left side of the spread with uh, these vines with leaves and I think it really looks good with the border and it was really fun to paint as well. We'll be getting to the painting part soon and then I moved over to the right page where I'm creating the archway and basically just drawing what I uh, initially planned in my planning sketchbook. Now sketchbooks are not uh, something to be afraid of and I know it can be intimidating when you start a new sketchbook but I can assure you once you get started you will just have so much fun in your sketchbook it's a place for you to let your creativity flow to be inspired to just create whatever you love to create have fun in your sketchbook and just to enjoy the process of learning experimenting practicing trying new things new techniques new mediums and that's what your sketchbooks all about it's not meant to be perfect and as you've seen in my previous sketchbook tours all my spreads and all my artwork in my sketchbooks are not perfect but that's just what i um created and at that moment that's what i created and this piece also wasn't my favorite favorite piece for for the spread but it was one i enjoyed i really enjoyed creating this and it was a lot of fun and it was, i kept it very simple and I think that really helps a lot. So now once I had the sketch down and I basically created this little landscape in this archway with, which is surrounded by plants, I picked the uh, brushes. I got my watercolor paints out. Now the brushes I picked are just a few uh, round brushes as well as one flat brush, a small flat brush. Uh, the round brushes are quite fine tips as well as one a little bit uh, bigger. And those will be the brushes that I've been using for this entire painting. So I went in straight ahead with color. Now the writing page doesn't have a lot of uh, color in it. So I wasn't too keen on starting with that. I wanted to see some color and something building up. So I started with the right side of the spread. So I created the mountains and I'm basically at the moment what I've done. I start always working from the back background moving to the foreground. So the sky was the first and then I started basically painting in the mountains and then the water and obviously the areas that are going to be uh, covered in grass on either side of the water. Then last I will be adding the arch once I've added all the plants that are around the archway. This is just basically to block in the colors and to get rid of the white of the paper as well as to just 
block in all the areas of the different elements that I've included on this piece. These are just little washes of color. I'm not really um, paying attention to anything much, just loosely painting in the backgrounds, covering up as much of the white of the paper as possible, and just basically um, having fun painting and just letting the paint do its work. So once I had all the background elements, all the arch elements down, the flowers, I wanted to also create these vines from the top of the archway hanging down in the center. So I started painting in those vines as well as some ferns that are around the arch as well. And the background, I'm still going to work and refine that a bit more, but I just basically just wanted to place everything where they need to go. And now is when I started adding a bit more color to the flowers, adding a bit more depth, adding some flowers to the uh, plants that are in the uh, landscape in this archway. And basically just covering the area with uh, more greens and just really making it uh, have a three-dimensional look. As I said before, I didn't make this a realistic looking piece. It was not meant to be realistic. It was meant to be something just fun and colorful and just a bright page showing this archway which is like a portal into another world, another dimension of creativity and where we're going to be having all these different adventures of creativity where we're going to be creating all these different um, ideas that I have and some may be simple, some may be illustrations, it may be with different mediums. Anything is possible in the sketchbook and when I start a new sketchbook, as I create more and more in my sketchbooks, I'm really feeling that I'm really developing and growing as an artist. I'm really growing my creativity. I'm experimenting and trying new things, things that I'm not used to. And I think that's so important for all artists to keep growing and never just stay stagnant at one point and not move forward or try new things. So once I got done with the watercolors, I started going in with some color pencils. I thought that it would add a bit more dimension and some texture to the uh, illustration or the painting. Now this paper does have a bit of texture in it, so I like the effect the color pencil had with the texture as, that it created as I went over the areas with the watercolors, over the areas that I went in with watercolors. So, and I really liked how the mountains also got shaped and created more texture when I added the browns of the color pencils it really helped to bring out textures uh, different textures in the mountains and basically I just colored in the water with a very light hand and just went over the watercolors as well as the sky and the grass just creating a bit of texture and variant in the um, variance in the colors and that was basically it for that I just wanted to create a bit of um, some texture with the color pencils and just bring out some of the brighter greens, adding some yellow to those vines and to those ferns. Like I said, your sketchbook is meant for you to have fun in. And now I'm just going in with a white jelly roll, just adding some different uh, strokes here and there to the archway, as well as to the stamens of flowers, as well as to the flower petals and the birds as well and that was what the right side illustration spread turned out like and now i'm moving on to the text side which is the left side of the spread and i started off with the vines with leaves for the border because i think that really uh, will set the uh, tone for this side of the page and i really enjoyed the way the brush strokes went down with the paint to create those leaves and I think that really um, was fun to paint and it really creates such an interesting page and it brings you into this sense of nature and uh, plants and the earth and animals and you just start thinking of everything natural in this world and the beauty of nature. And I think that's what I felt when I was painting this, just painting in these elements, not really focusing too much on any details and just having fun with the piece. So I kept a very um, steady light hand as I was painting in the alphabets of the words for the text, but I didn't really go extreme with really fancy text. It's very simple, plain text. I just kept it simple and 
Yeah, sometimes you just need a guide, which is what I use the graphite pencil for as a guide to show me where everything must go. But at the same time, uh, if I did find somewhere that I think it was a skew with the graphite, I corrected it with the paint. Now I just want to show you, like over there, I went by mistake with stroke underneath the T. All you need to do is, while it's wet, just apply with a clean brush some water to that area and dab it with a clean paper towel and you're good to go. You can still see a slight hint of that green, but it's not really visible um, once you finish painting. So I'm just working very slowly. The video is sped up, but I'm working very, very slowly, taking my time and enjoying the creativity process and the painting process and not really rushing anything through. So that's something that's very important. Don't rush your sessions that you have in your sketchbook. Take time in your sketchbook because it's meant for you to work in it, to be creative in your sketchbook, to open up your creativity, to practice, to learn, to experiment, to try different mediums, different techniques, draw and paint different subjects. I use all different mediums in my sketchbooks and I must say that when you go through the sketchbook uh, later on or when you're done with it, you'll be so proud of the artwork that you completed. Some pieces may not be perfect and that's absolutely fine and some may be beautiful and you would love them. So it's entirely up to you how you work in your sketchbook. Remember, as you've seen from my previous sketchbook tours, there are some pages that I really don't like when I'm done with them, but they're part of my learning process and they're part of the creativity process. And that's what being an artist is. So just let it flow, let your creativity flow. Some pages are good, some pages are bad. That's just how it goes. We all learn from those uh, mistakes or those pages that we don't like. So there is the final spread for my um, first page or my introduction welcome page to my sketchbook. And I guess that's it for this video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it inspirational. If you did, don't forget to leave a comment below. Don't forget to also like, share and don't forget to subscribe. Till the next one. Bye.